Sale of a United Kingdom film was held by Video Vision Entertainment at Monte Cassino on Wednesday evening. The screening of Sir Sereta Kama and Ruth Williams' love story saw some of the featured local talent in the movie, priding themselves for bringing real-life characters from their neighboring country of Botswana to life on the big screen. Morning Live producer Ikumuteng Sikhopolo covered the event. Let's take a look. Father will hate him on sight. He's cleverer than him, and he's black. She might change her mind. I've met the man I want to spend my life with. A biopic that depicts a notable epoch in the history of Botswana. The film A United Kingdom is based on a true story of an African prince, Sereza Khama, and a British office worker, Ruth Williams, who fall in love and marry during an era when interracial unions were still a taboo. The extraordinary tale is being described as the greatest love story never told. The movie is based in both London and the then Botswana land. Video Vision Entertainment acquired the rights to distribute the film on the continent. Together with the Nelson Mandela Foundation, they hosted its South African premiere at Monte Cassino this week. It's a, a really remarkable story because it's about this couple that met in England and uh, it's an interracial love story and how the British government, the South African government and the Botswanan people were against this um, marriage and how love prevailed and it's a, a, a great charming uh, powerful film with great performances of uh, international and South African actors. The film features some of the best local talent in the film and television industry. We caught up with some of them to get to know more about their contribution to the flag. I play the role of Naledi Hama, who is Sereta Hama's sister. And um, I mean, it's, this is a beautiful love story. It's a political story, but it's a human story and a love story. And um, if you know the story or, or the history of Botswana, you'll know Sereta Hama uh, married a white woman in the 1940s, which is uh, pretty much unheard of and how they came to be. So this is a story of how they met, how they fell in love, and how they moved to Botswana. And, uh, and, and she became the queen of, of, of you know, people of Botswana. And uh, it's, you know, the relationship between her and Naledi as well, uh, it's, it's, it's about sisterhood. So her storyline, she's there as a rock and a sister and supportive, even though they had a bump to start. Uh, my character's name is Michael Nash. He's a journalist. I can't tell you too much about him because I'm kind of involved in the ending. So, uh, but uh, he's a person who meets Soretsi Kama when Soretsi Kama is a young man. And uh, they form a relationship of information, I suppose. And uh, it's, he's a great character who may be a good guy, may be a bad guy. Ella is Soretsi's aunt, and she's against the whole marriage right from the start. But as she sees that Ruth is there for the right reasons, she slowly but surely comes around and accepts her. One of the three remaining Rivonia trialists, Utata Ahmed Katrada, was among the attendees. He shared with us some of the memories of his encounters with the Khamas. But I, being a young chap, I was just driving him. And uh, he, you know, Botswana at that time didn't have roads, it just had paths. So he guided me. And uh, we stopped at the region Chakedi's house and that is when Seretsi was recalled by the tribe because they had married this English woman and that is the first and the only time I met Seretsi Kama. Family was also represented. Both my grandparents are two members of my family which are highly cherished uh, and very much revered and loved and so we're quite protective of them as a family. Um, they're two people who are you know who are so bound and, and uh, rooted by sort of morals and values and so we're quite sensitive to how, how they would be portrayed in this film. Um, but you, you know, having seen the film, the whole family did have a private screening. Uh, we're, we're actually quite proud of the outcome of the film and I think that the actors have done a good job in portraying the individuals as, as they were. Um, and that's, you know, the South African actors also who also portrayed members of my family have, have also done a very sterling job. Invited guests got a chance to watch the United Kingdom. After the screening, we spoke to a few of them, and this is what they thought of the movie. It's a good time. 
when so much negative news comes out of Africa, for us to have this positive story and a beautiful love story. Kept us really focused on the uh, on the struggle that this couple had to to go through the struggles, plural, in order to uh, to impose their uh, their vision. And uh, I think it's an extraordinarily timely film. Well, it's it's a human story. It's a beautiful story. It's about almost what's supposed to have happened now. What's supposed to be happening now. It's a, it's a wonderful story. I think I loved it. For those that want to bear witness to this incredible love story between Cesar Reza and Lady Ruth Khama, a United Kingdom is set to officially open nationwide on the 9th of December. For Morning Live, I'm Ikhmuzen Sokhopolo.